Leaks point to a possible date for the next generation iPads to be announced. Windows Phone 8.1 gets leaked in screenshots, and the HTC One Max may not be as hot as you expect. I'm Jaime Rivera, and if you see my other two videos earlier today, then yeah, this is the third shirt that I've worn today. This is Pocket Down Daily. If you came here for official news, well, we've got one for you, and that's Google's Android Device Manager. Just got a little update, and as it turns out, in the past you could only wipe or make your phone ring, and now you can actually lock it or set a password remotely. Now, obviously, as with everything Google, this takes a little while to be launched for every other device, so let us know when you get it. Let us know what you think. These are some basics, and it's just great to actually have them. Now let's talk about Nokia. I know a lot of you are waiting for their Lumia 1520, which is the first ever Windows Phone tablet to hit the market, and apparently we were expecting for it to be launched within the month of September, and more credible sources state that it will be on October 20th, with a possible launch probably just a couple of days later. Nokia has actually been doing a good job in that department, and on the other hand, if you wanted to see what Windows Phone GDR3 looks in the Nokia Lumia 920, well, links in the description for details, and notice those live tiles looking a little more refined and closer together. And speaking of future versions of Windows Phone, we've got the first leaked screenshots of what to expect from Project Blue, which is Windows Phone 8.1. As it turns out, all we notice is really the notification center at the top, some enhancements into the kit center and everything. Not really something major so far, but obviously it's hard to come by these leaks and we still don't know how further within that project is if we can ever expect 8.1 to actually be launched this year, so stay tuned for that. Now let's talk about Android and more specifically HTC. We've got some leaked photographs of the HTC One Max, their phablet, and yes, we do see that fingerprint scanner at the back in its full glory, but that's sadly all the good news here. Apparently this device will not be running the Snapdragon 800 processor, and that is just something we can't really understand. I mean, apparently the device will be clocked at 1.7 gigahertz, and that is below Snapdragon 800 territory. So again, this could probably be just a specific region device we're not really sure of that, so link to the description for details, and we'll wait for whenever HTC wants to launch this phone. And finally, for the hot news of the day, those of you waiting for new iPads, set your calendars and wallets ready for October 15th. We've got some credible sources stating that this will be the date when they will be announced, and we'll probably see pre-orders in the next 10 days and probably shipments 15 days after that announcement as well. And a lot of us are expecting this new iPad, specifically the iPad 5, because we're expecting a new design and hopefully a new Retina display on that iPad Mini 2. Apparently, this will be just an iPad event, but that leads me to the question of the day. Are you holding out for a new generation iPad? Probably the iPad 5 or iPad Mini 2. Which will it be? In my particular case, it depends. If the iPad Mini 2 does not bring a retina display, I'm going for the iPad 5. But leave us a comment down below. What do you expect? That's right, friends. For an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and top world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.